a cardiologist at the UVA Heart and Vascular Center, and today we are talking about pacemakers. So first of all, for people who might not know, just talk about what pacemakers are and who might have them. Sure, sure. Well, I happen to have one right here. Awesome. So we can show you what they look like there. Pacemakers are designed to treat slow heart rhythms. They consist of the pacemaker itself and a wire that goes into the heart. Now, patient, patients with slow heart rhythms typically will have symptoms such as shortness of breath, they may get very tired or they may pass out, and passing out can be really dangerous if they fall and hurt themselves. Yeah, and pacemakers are very different from the defibrillators that are implanted. Can you talk a little bit about that, the yeah. differences? Yeah, so the defibrillator is, a, is a, a pacemaker and a defibrillator in one, so to speak. So patients who get these devices, maybe get a two for one if you want to look at it that way. The defibrillators treat dangerous fast heart rhythms. And this is really important in our country because millions of Americans have heart failure and patients with heart failure are at particularly at risk for these dangerous fast heart rhythms. Yeah, and I know that they say that a lot of these could help patients from getting certain types of heart tests that they might otherwise have to get, is that right? That's right. Uh, patients with pacemakers and defibrillators can get most tests that other patients can get, but one big exception is an MRI. And the, the MRI is really the gold standard and the best test for diagnosing a number of conditions like brain tumors, strokes, spinal problems, knee and shoulder problems, problems with internal organs, and also it's a gold standard for looking at viability of the heart after, after having a heart attack. But, uh, but millions of Americans uh, were denied these MRIs over, the, over a number of years uh, because they had these devices. Yeah, and there are a lot of people that have these, probably more than people would think, is that right? A lot, a lot, of, people, a lot of people have these devices, it's estimated that, that millions of, of people have these, these devices. Mm -hmm. So, so with the advent, though, of, uh, of the new MRI conditional defibrillator, this has all changed. So MRI conditional pacemakers have been in the market for a few, few years. And the idea behind these pacemakers is they were, they were constructed in a certain way that they, to allow them to function safely and effectively in an MRI environment. But we didn't have that for the ICD until just recently. So in, in mid-September, uh, we now have this device, which, oh, is an, wow. which is an MR conditional ICD. And, and this can function safely and effectively in the, in the MRI environment. And this is important. Uh, uh, UVA was the first to implant uh, this device uh, in, in the state, so that's a, a, it's an achievement on, on our end. And, and as a result of this device, now, now um, a lot of Americans who couldn't get this device beforehand can have the, couldn't get MRIs beforehand, now can get MRIs. Uh, approximately 50% of patients with these devices are estimated to need MRIs during the 10 years after implants. So that's pretty significant. Yeah, so this is really a game changer. It is a game changer, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. thank you so much for being here. Yep. We're going to go ahead and send it back to you.